Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. I'm Lorraine and today I'm going to show you a variation of this Celebrate Sunflowers card. Uh, this one was done in Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green using the all wired up background stamp and of course the Celebrate Sunflower stamp. The version I'm going to do in this video has it done in Cajun Craze with Mossy Meadow. I've pre-done some of the work. I stamped the leaves from the Celebrate Sunflower Steps in uh, Mossy Meadow and uh, used the dies to cut them out. I used the Thanks a Bunch greeting from the set in Mossy Meadow and I used the stitched rectangles to cut it out. And I've used Cajun Craze on the Sunflower. It comes out beautifully and I've used the outline die from the set to cut that one out. So, to build the card, what we need to do is we need to stamp the background, uh, the, the all wired up background, in Smoky Slate. So, I've got a Whisper White card base, I've got a Cajun Craze mat in five and a quarter by four, and I've got a Whisper White in five by three and three quarters so that we can put the all wired up background on it. So to do this we are simply going to ink up the stamp and when they're the big background stamps like this I tend to take the ink pad and just put it all over and ink everything up. Close the ink pad, stops me putting my hand in it. And then, because this is a directional one, as straight as possible, put it down over the paper. And I tend to press really hard in the middle, and then we don't tend to get any gaps in the ink. So that's the background inked up. Now, because I've already prepped the, um, the pieces to go on top, We'll simply layer them on. I'm using dimensionals. In the example, I didn't use dimensionals on all of the leaves, but I am going to in this because I kind of like, I did dimensionalize that leaf and I like how it jumps out. So we are going to dimensionalize for the video. And the sunflower is directional. Um, to me, this is up, so I'm just going to place it down, stick it down, and then I'm going to put the greeting along the bottom. And I'm going to dimensionalize that as well. Just put a couple on the back of that. And go from there. The stick stitched <laughs> rectangle set is really, really good. I use it all the time on all kinds of different cards. And if you need it longer but narrower than the die is, you can simply run it through again with the die offset a little bit. Cut it once and then run the die through again and you can skinny it up. I've done that in one of my other videos. So it works really, really well and means that you get an unlimited number of um, shapes from your existing dies. And we just put the leaves in with dimensionals. Just add that in. to tuck that right underneath so it comes out over top of the greeting and then I'll just put a third one in just on the other side just to balance it a bit just like that perfect so now I'm going to use the stamp and seal and I'm going to layer this up put this piece on the Cajun craze mat and layer the whole thing on top of the card base. There we go. And having the Cajun Crace mat really pops the sunflower out. So we'll just stamp and seal this up. Attach it to the card front. Just lining it up. I line it up along one edge, kind of making sure it's equidistant, and then I drop it down, and that ensures it's straight. So we've got two versions of the same card. 
one in Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green, and the other in Cajun Craze and Mossy Meadow. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's inspired you to create your own handmade greeting cards. If there's anything in this video you would like to purchase, please use the links below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much.